a drug called chloroquine. And some people would add to it hydroxy, hydroxychloroquine. So chloroquine or hydroxychloroquine. Now, this is a common malaria drug. It's also a drug used for strong arthritis. Uh, somebody has pretty serious arthritis. Uh, also uses this in a somewhat different form. But it is known as a malaria drug, and it's been around for a long time, and it's very powerful. But the nice part is it's been around for a long time. So we know that if it if if things don't go as uh, planned, it's not going to kill anybody. When you go with a brand new drug, you don't know that that's going to happen. You have to see and you have to go long test. But this has been used in different forms, very powerful drug in different forms. And it's shown very encouraging, very, very encouraging early results. And we're going to be able to make that drug available almost immediately. And that's where the FDA has been so great. They, uh, they've they gone through the approval process. It's been approved. And they did it. They took it down from many, many months to uh, immediate. So we're going to be able to make that drug available by prescription or states. I spoke with Governor Cuomo about it at great length last night. And uh, he, he wants to be uh, right on, on the — he wants to be first on the line. And uh, so I think that's a tremendous — there's tremendous promise uh, based on the results and other tests. There's tremendous promise. And normally, the FDA would take a long time to approve something like that. And it's uh, — it was approved very, very quickly, and it's now approved by prescription. Uh, individual states will handle it. They can handle it. Doctors will handle it. And uh, I think it's going to be — I think it's going to be great. Then we're 